All right, I'm doing a, a, a bow and arrow choke. We've got back control on someone and we're doing a bow and arrow choke. And I will say, you know, in order to do this, you need a backpack grip, right? We're over under, we're under one arm over the other. Me personally, I like to stay on their back with, a, with double unders. It's better for control. I, I, I think you should ride the person longer, try to make them tired or whatever, look for your opportunity, then maybe I'll switch to a backpack. But now that we talked about that, I've got Gary here, I've got back control on him, I'm using the backpack, I'm keeping tight to him, and I want to try my choke. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this collar, and I'm going to grab it like this, and open it down and away. Look at that, that's different than just grabbing it like this. I did it like this for a long time, but someone really good showed me this. I don't want to be your typical uh, pretentious BJJ guy and tell you who told me that. Just listen to me because me, not because someone else showed me that. Right here, I got this, this, up and in. I want to go down and away, up and in. Then I'm going to come over and get this other one and pull it straight down. Now I'm going to follow the line of his shoulder with this arm and just go. That's how we're going to choke him. All right, I'm not trying to flare it up. I'm just following the line of his shoulder. Then maybe after I get my elbow past his shoulder, if I feel the need to flare it up, then you can think about it. But I'm going to go here. I've got my backpack. I'm tight, down and away, up and in, all the way up by his neck. Take this one down to his belt. Then I'm going to go right along his shoulder. Boom. Right there. That's, uh, I think that's the most important. Then, if we need something else to do off of that, maybe I didn't get it tight. If, if I get it right, I shouldn't have to do anything else. But the next uh, part B, I guess, would be for me to, if I didn't get enough tension on this choke, I'm gonna open my leg just a little, right? I'm overemphasizing it. Here, let him fall down and in. This foot's gonna to switch to this side of his hip, and now I can reclose. I'm gonna do the same choke, boom. So if I didn't get it as tight as I wanted the first time, that's what I like to do. I think the number one detail that you're gonna take away from this that you might not have seen is the openness with the fat side out. Down and away, up and in. Get this straight down, right? The choke works like normal, or maybe I didn't get it tight enough. I'm gonna go here, let him drop, bring this over, and I can reclose. Staying tight the whole time, boom. That's different than doing the whole thing and then trying to go up like this and then I fall. That helps him, it gives him a better chance to escape. So down and away, up and in, straight down to his belt, along the line of his shoulder. Boom, there you go. If you didn't get it tight enough, open your leg a little bit, let him drop, bring this over, reclose, and there we go. <clears throat> like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.